storms hit as thousands of people are in town for the 90th Texas Relays. It used to be we'd see dozens of arrests downtown in conjunction with the relays, but now Austin police say that has changed because of a new strategy they're using. Kate White, is live at Mike Myers Stadium this morning on the UT campus with the details. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. First, let's talk about the relays because certainly the overnight storms could have an impact on the 1030 start this morning because if the track is wet, the racers may not run until it is dry. Now, overnight, we did drive around looking for any storm damage, but mainly just saw lots of lightning, plenty of rain. Thankfully, that is all past the metro area now. In the meantime, though, 20,000 fans and 7,800 competitors are expected into Austin today through Saturday. And while the track and field events are the big highlight, the race has also led to fights inside the former Highland Mall and businesses closing for the weekend. We looked at the number of arrests during the Texas relays and found the highest was in 2014 with 86 people arrested. But then notice last year, only five. So I asked the Austin Police Department what changed. They say because of the problems in the past, they now bring their crowd control team down to 6th Street and have downtown command officers near 5th and 7th Street bars. We coordinate with Barton Creek Mall. We coordinate with ACC because these are other areas where people go to hang out, to talk, to share experiences. So we make sure beforehand we talk with everybody and we have a plan. Well, the relays also lead to more traffic and street closures. The biggest is along East 6th Street on Friday and Saturday between the I-35 Frontage Road and Brazos. And we are working to hear from UT Athletics concerning the start time of Texas relays to see if, in fact, John, it's going to be delayed today. And, of course, we'll keep you posted.